Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom coming to you from a snowy location. Um, I'm down to my last two signs. I've been working on fire signs and I've decided to do you each individually only because my power's been flickering a little and I don't want to ruin a whole video. Um, it'd be easier to lose just one. So we've got um, Aries done, now we're going on to Leo. We're doing the time period from the 8th to the 14th of the month. In that time, we have the new moon in Capricorn on the 11th. And so uh, the readings have been all over the place with lots of building energy like we thought January would be kind of in the 5D, not down in the 3D yet. But things are progressing if you've been waiting for something to unfold in your life. So here we have Leo. What's going on for Leo in this week ahead? What do you need to know? What is going on for Leo? bottom of the deck is protected by angels. You are cherished by the angels. I love this card. What a beautiful energy. Um, and how amazing to think that the angels cherish you. You're blessed beyond belief, Leo, okay? Um, now, Leo, as we get started here, this could be your energy. This could be somebody attached to you. So please don't take on energies that aren't yours, okay? You could be cross-watching here, too, for an Aries. So we have fogged in, go slow, and take your time, okay? There's no need to rush. Just take your time and get what you have to get done, okay? Discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth, okay? You hold great truth, and there's power in truth. Stepping into power. <laughs> Um, you are strong beyond measure, um, Leo, okay? You can handle anything that comes at you. You've done it 100% of the time before, and you'll do it this one time more. And last, we have impasse. Oh, reflect and redirect your energy, okay? Leo, are you considering something that isn't in alignment with you? Um, do you want something that isn't possible for you yet, Okay. Throw it up to spirit, redirect your energy. All right, so that's what we have for you. Some pretty decent energies there. It looks like you're gonna be coming into some truth and stepping into your power and doing it. Okay, so what is going on for Leo in this week ahead? Leo. Whoa, look at that energy tying up there. Wow. Wow, way. What's going on, Leo? Jammed up my deck. Anything else that flipped in there? That was funny. Hmm. Some kind of energy there. is very interesting, Leo. Okay. All right, Leo. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles, so you may be hard at work, um, just earning those pentacles, right? Um, head down, focused on work. And this is what um, spirit might want to redirect your energy on. Um, this could be somebody willing to work things out with you, or this is just you focused on your passion. Okay. 
Um, okay, I don't think I'm getting anything else there. So in the center of our spread, we have um, the Knight of Pentacles, and this is the slowest moving energy in the deck of tarot. Um, but the sure thing about the Knight of Pentacles is that he always makes it over the finish line and he comes in pretty solid, okay? Quick look here and we have one, two, three um, major arcana cards here. One, two, four, four major arcana cards. Got some big energies here, Leo. First, we have the Page of Wands, and this is somebody with a message of passion and creativity. They could be on a new journey, um, a new business, a new opportunity of some kind that they're very passionate about. And they could be in a full energy, right? This might be a new beginning for them in a passionate way. And um, Eight of Wands is communication coming in. So Leo, this could be your energy. You might be in this full energy. Um, and communication could be coming into you, okay? Or somebody is coming towards you for a new beginning, okay? And they're going to be communicating about it. Down into the second row, we have the Ace of Cups. The King of Pentacles, who comes in slow but solid. And the Lovers. Might be a soul connection coming together. And the lovers is also a choice, right? Someone cho chooses you. And then, and this is um, pretty neat how this showed up in the uh, spread. Um, the king and queen of wands came out right next to each other. One, two. So, Leo, this could be your balanced energy, right? Your masculine and feminine energy. Or... This is you coming together. So this Ace of Cups could be your self-love, right? And Lovers is in that you're balanced in your masculine and feminine energies. So we'll uh, see what we have going on here. Then we have um, Temperance, and this is Archangel Michael, and he comes in and brings um, balance and healing and light and... Um, strength and courage you know he helps relationships heal and grow and transform so that patience energy is here a few extra cards that came out are the three of cups this is an energy of friendship getting together celebrating it could also indicate communication um, coming in towards you to get together like friends and celebrate then we have somebody in the is this the four? Yes, the four of cups energy. Someone just really sad seeing all their wishes and dreams go down the drain and um, feeling, you know, waiting for some offer to come in. And it looks like spirit is reaching in with something here and they're not even paying attention to it. And then we have um, the five of pentacles. And this is an energy of somebody feeling um, left behind, abandoned, left out in the cold, um, could have lack mentality, just a real despair and sadness they can't get past in their life. And that's clear with these two cards, right? So now we will take the light seers and we'll clarify this for you. Tell me about this fool, please, spirit. What is this fool energy for Leo? is the emperor and he's got the wheel of fortune so when he takes action he's going to turn that wheel what else for the fool okay tell me about oops queen of swords is there so the Queen of Sword is the one who would probably cut something out and take the action, right? Tell me about the Eight of Wands. What is this fast-moving energy? This is illumination. This is a wish come true healing energy coming in. Downloads from Spirit to help you. 
and the communication will be about an opportunity and um, you're healing your heart and that would be the emperor and um, this will be wish fulfillment for you tell me about the ace of cups please this is someone walking away um, and walking towards their happiness What else about the Ace of Cups? This is a confident, um, single and available person that just takes care of herself and goes about uh, everything she needs to. Maybe that is some self-love there. And she's um, manifesting Maybe some divine timing coming in here for her. She has the Page of Cups energy, or he does. And right now, um, really worried, up at night, anxious, maybe even a little depressed, can't sleep. Hmm. Um, this person is in the Knight of Swords energy moving towards bringing in truth and knowledge to a situation. And you'll have a victory when you do that. And then the two of pentacles, when to actually do this, when to start, when to make the move, when to jump like the fool, right? Waiting for this exact moment, this exact time. And something happens, right? It, for a sign or something. And then the Knight of Pentacles is the Knight of Pentacles. So that's a that's reaffirming it, right? That's a strong message when another card comes out that yes, this Knight of Pentacles is in root. And um, this Knight of Pentacles has. Um, you know, they have their plan, they know what they want to do, right? And they put their ask out to the universe. And um, they're on a, right now they're a page with this smaller pentacle. And that's how they're going about life right now. And they're thinking about this love connection. Okay, tell me about the lovers, please. The lovers is someone who, the lovers is someone who is um, in a like spiritual bubble. They have a lot of spiritual protection. They are very exclusive with their energy. They don't like mucking it up with other people. Um, and they're just going about their life, using their wands, making their magic happen for them. Okay. And this is person has the Knight of Wands energy, fiery, passionate, on her path, doing her thing. And then um, there's this Two of Cups energy here, this soul connection. Okay. And this is somebody that's happiness. They're at their Ten of Cups. They're happy. Imagine that being happy people. Hmm. Okay, tell me about the King of Wands. What is going on with the King of Wands? I just thought, where is my water? Thought I left it behind me. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so this King of Wands is head down, focused on their work, and it's it's coming together. Whatever he's doing, it's working, it's growing. 
Anything else about the King of Wands? And spirit is helping this person to be strong and courageous, take risks, and they're holding their ground on this. Um, they're exclusive with their energy, um, not letting anybody in that isn't to their standards, okay? Maybe even stubborn a little in a way. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands has the Five of Cups, so she's a bit sad. What else? She has a cup of love for someone, Ace of Cups. about the Queen of Wands. She is in her hermit energy, so she may be a, a healer, not realize it. She may be shining a light for other people. She may be getting some enlightenment down there as she goes within. She could be very wise. And she could be the Empress. So this would be her balanced energy down here. And we have the emperor. We have the emperor, the lovers, the empress in a row. And this empress is in a hanged man, but she's looking for the three of cups. She wants to come together as friends, fix something, heal something. And Eight of Wands, communication coming in around that. Wanting some stability and security, union, happiness, celebrating. <laughs> There's a devil energy there, though. Maybe it's a fear that it won't happen, fear of commitment, fear of change, worry, um, and justice and balance is coming in here for this Empress. And she's uh, letting go of everything and just going towards um, the sun. And that would be the king of swords. And now we have the queen of swords above with the masculine. And then we have the page of wands. Somebody excited to take a leap of faith uh, in a passionate way. Okay, tell me about temperance. For Leo, okay, Leo, temperance is judgment and the Page of Cups. So, Archangel Michael is helping this Page of Cups heal. Stay calm and patient. Yeah. Okay. My old desk here squeaking. <laughs> um, it's an antique. Um, so this King of Cups has the Ace of Wands. So this potential for um, dot desire and passion to come in to offer that to someone. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Okay. That is 
somebody moving away to come shores um, towards their happiness. What else about Three of Cups? And that's somebody that is holding back from giving to a situation right now. They're moving away. Um, but they're thinking about being reciprocal with you. Maybe that's about moving away from friends and that kind of partying scene and wanting to be in a more reciprocal kind of relationship, not such a superficial partying one, Leo, maybe. Somebody's there um, transmuting those kinds of energies. Okay, Leo. Boy, that energy tightened right up. All right, Leo, so it looks like you have um, an emperor, an empress, whether this is your balanced energy or it's an emperor and empress trying to come together. Um, it looks like there's a lot of um, energy that might need to be worked through here. I don't know how quickly this will happen for you um, or how much you realize on your end, what kind of communication you have like or anything like that. Um, itchy eyelid, sorry. Um, so let's see what the outcome is for your week, okay? And we'll go from there. Um, what is happening for Leo? All right, Ten of Cups. That's a good sign. That's happiness, right? What else is the outcome for the week? The truth is coming in. An opportunity for the potential for truth. And success. Wow. Higher event. Agreements. Commitments. Somebody in the hanged man right now. We have a knight of swords charging in with the truth. And we still have someone holding their ground here, okay? Needing to put down a burden with the nine and ten of wands there. And maybe coming in with the truth helps him put down his burdens. Okay, anything else for Leo? And right now they're kind of conflicted about it. They're not sure how they're going to handle this or do this. So... devils on the bottom of the deck um, here. So Leo, either you or someone attached to you is still um, working through some devil energies, some fear, some frustration, some anger, some sadness, um, some lack mentalities that might need to change before this can really come together. But somebody else, um, one of you may be having some success around work. Um, that's making you very happy, um, that some kind of truth might be coming in here that makes you feel successful, um, that is some type of a commitment for you, and uh, you might be in the hanged man about it, okay? Um, and then someone else got to deal with this energy here, Okay? So that's what we have there for you. I'm going to take Sacred Forest and give you some brighter energies here. Lots of potential here, Leo, for something positive to come in. Remember, January is our setup month, okay? Um, 
We've still got this new moon energy to go through on the 11th, and then the week of the 20th, the week after next week. Major planetal changes coming. Um, Pluto going from Capricorn into Aquarius is going to be a big, big change. All the planets will be direct then. And what else for Leo? deck is standing stones and this is a passage and this is about changing timelines okay so that may be happening for somebody here okay so we have strong masculine and feminine energy so it's hard for me to see here which one you are leo okay so we have guardians of the land and this is with protection and Spirit wants you to know that you and your loved ones are protected right now. So don't worry about them. Just stay focused on you. Focus. And this was upside down. How did I know that? Stay focused on what you're passionate about. Stay focused on your connection with Spirit. Okay? Dragon, you're stepping into your power. And just come realize that with power comes great responsibility. Be careful how you use your power. And dragons have fire in their voice, in their energy. So do not um, scorch other people <laughs> with your power, okay? Be careful of that. Eagle spirit with freedom. We all have free will. We have free will to do whatever we want, to bring this um, freedom and peaceful energy, peace of mind, all of that kind of energy into us. The other day in the reading, I had an eagle swoop through, and an eagle is about freedom. And um, that's coming in for you, Leo, here, or who's ever attached to you, right? Leo, take some time and purify your spirit, okay? Let go of the past so that you can be a clean vessel to go into a new situation with. You don't want to carry a ten of wands, nine of wands energy with you into a new relationship okay into any new situation get rid of it next is owl spirit and wisdom leo perhaps um or someone attached to you leo um all the situations you've gone through you've become very wise and people see this wisdom in you use your wisdom let your past experiences guide you in your decision making and know that you have survived 100% of the situations you've been in. And you will survive in this one too. Guardian spirit of Auburn, uh, Autumn. Letting go. Okay. Letting go. Um, just let go of anything that doesn't suit you. Thicket of Thorns, um, and this is uncertainty. You may be in a position where you don't know how things are going to work out. You may be on a path that isn't open or clear or whatever. And um, in one of my decks, we have this card called the Ghosting, right? And um, I never thought of things like this before, and it, I talk about it quite a bit now because it's a nice perspective, right? In the future, nothing is built yet. Tomorrow doesn't exist yet. We haven't been there yet. That time is not built yet. Behind us, it's all dead. It's all ghosts. It doesn't exist anymore. The only thing that exists is right here, right now. Like me being present in front of YouTube doing this reading. That's the only thing that exists right now. And it's that, you know... And what I said doesn't even exist anymore, <laughs> right? It's that kind of energy. We only have the present moment, okay? So just hold your course. Go with the flow one day at a time, you know? 
push through weeds if you, as you have to. And the last is Phoenix Rising. So someone's going through a transformation here and they're emerging now. And they're working through these energies and trying to find their way through it. They're discovering some truths about themselves and the situations they've been in. And um, as they learn more, things are going to change. Okay? So, Leo, that's what I have for you. That is your reading today. So we're going to end it here. Um, I thank you all for watching. Do take some time and watch the other placements. You are more than just your sun sign. Um, if you're new here, I hope you take a minute and subscribe and join our growing community here. We'd love to have you. And if you're in the East Coast here, please take it easy driving tonight and tomorrow morning as you head off to work. It's still snowing at my location and it's just about sunset now. So I'm going to say good night and uh, sending love and light to all. And I'll try to get this up on YouTube as soon as possible. Take care, Leo.